most repeated 50 human heart MCQs that were asked in many previous examinations and will be asked in upcoming exam as well. So please watch the video till end. Let's start. The first question, what is the primary function of the human heart? Your options are pumping the blood, digesting food, filtering toxins or producing hormones. And the correct answer is pumping blood. The primary function of the human heart is to pump blood throughout the body, delivering oxygen and nutrients to cells and removing waste products. Question number 2. Which chamber of the heart receives deoxygenated blood from the body? Your options are left atrium, right atrium, left ventricle or right ventricle. Now your time to answer. The right answer is B and that is right atrium. The right atrium receives deoxygenated blood from the body and pumps it into the right ventricle for pulmonary circulation. Now can you answer the third question? The heart is composed of how many chambers? How many chambers are there in the heart? Your options are 2, 3, 4 or 5. The right answer is 4. The human heart has 4 chambers, 2 atria, upper chambers and 2 ventricles, lower chambers. Now let's move on to the fourth very interesting question. Which blood vessels carry oxygenated blood away from the heart? Your options are veins, arteries, capillaries, venals. The right answer is arteries. Arteries carry oxygenated blood away from the heart to various parts of the body. Now, fifth very interesting question that is waiting for you. What is the name of the wall between the left atrium and the left ventricle? Your options are tricuspid wall, mitral wall, pulmonary wall or aortic wall. And the correct answer is mitral wall. The mitral wall, also known as the bicuspid wall, that is located between the left atrium and the left ventricle. Question number 6. Which blood vessels return oxygenated blood to the heart from the lungs? Your options are pulmonary arteries, pulmonary veins, aorta or coronary arteries. The correct answer is pulmonary veins. Pulmonary veins carry oxygenated blood from the lungs to the left atrium of the heart. Let's move on to the seventh very interesting question that most people do not know it. What is the pacemaker of the heart called? So what is the pacemaker of the heart called as? Your options are atrioventricular node, AV node bundle of his synotrial node SA or Perkins fibers. The right answer is synotrial node SA node. The SA node is the natural pacemaker of the heart that initiating the electrical impulses that regulate the heartbeat. Now question number 8. Excuse me friends, if the video is helping you, then please support us by liking and subscribing our channel. Let's continue please. Which vessel supplies blood to the heart muscle itself? So which vessel supplies blood to the heart muscle itself? Your options are pulmonary artery, coronary artery, aorta or pulmonary vein. And the correct answer is 
Coronary artery. Coronary artery supplies oxygenated blood to the heart muscle, ensuring its proper function. Now question number nine. What is the average resting heart rate of our adults? So, what is the average resting heart rate of our adults? 60 to 80 beats per minute, 100 to 120 beats per minute, 40 to 60 beats per minute, or 120 to 140 beats per minute. Do you know the answer? Correct answer is 60 to 80 beats per minute. The average resting heart rate for adults is typically between 60 and 80 beats per minute. Question number 10. Which part of the nervous system regulates the heart rate? Options are sympathetic nervous system, central nervous system, parasympathetic nervous system or or autonomic nervous system the correct answer autonomic nervous system specifically the sympathetic and parasympathetic branches that regulates the heart rate question number 11 which of the following is responsible for carrying deoxygenated blood to the lungs for oxygenation your options are Pulmonary artery, pulmonary vein, alta, coronary artery. Correct answer B, uh, A, that is pulmonary artery. The pulmonary artery carries deoxygenated blood from the right ventricle to the lungs for oxygenation. Now, question number 12. What is the term for the contraction phase of the heart cycle? What term is used for the contraction phase of the heart cycle? And your options are diastole, systole, atriventricular phase, or fibrillation. Do you know the answer? Then please go for it. The correct answer is systole. Or systole is the contraction phase of the heart cycle. When the heart chambers pump blood. Equation number 13. Which of the following is not a component of the heart's conduction system? And those options that we will choose from. Entry ventricular node, AV node, bundle of his, Perkins fibers, thymus gland. And the right answer is thymus gland. The thymus gland is not a part of the heart's conduction system. It is an organ of immune system, right? Question number 14. What is the purpose of heart walls? So what do they do? Options are to regulate blood pressure, to prevent backflow of blood, to produce red blood cells or to secrete, to secrete, to secrete hormones. And the answer is to prevent backflow of blood. Heart walls prevent the backflow of blood and ensure one-way blood flow through the heart chambers. Question number 15. Which of the following is a major risk factor for cardiovascular diseases? Your options are regular exercise, high blood pressure, adequate sleep or balanced diet and the answer is high blood pressure high blood pressure is a significant risk factor for cardiovascular disease that includes heart attacks and strokes even question number 16 what is the purpose of the coronary circulation options are pumping blood to the lungs supplying blood to the heart muscle distributing oxygen to the body cells or removing carbon dioxide from the body and the correct answer is supplying blood to the heart muscle coronary circulation provides blood to the heart ensuring its oxygenation and nourishment question number 17 which of the following statements about the blood flow in the heart is correct. Your options are 
blood flows from the left atrium to the right ventricle blood flows from the right atrium to the left ventricle blood flows from the left ventricle to the aorta or blood flows from the right ventricle to the pulmonary veins if you know the answer then please pause the video and comment in the comment section let's see how many of you know the answer and the correct answer is blood flows from the left ventricle to the aorta after leaving the left ventricle blood flows into the aorta for distribution to the rest of the body question number 18 what is the term for the smallest blood vessels where gas exchange occurs between blood and tissues the options are arteries veins capillaries or venals the correct answer capillaries capillaries are the smallest blood vessels where oxygen and nutrient diffuse into tissues and waste products enter the blood stream question number 19 what condition is characterized by a build up of fatty deposit in the arteries restricting the blood flow so what is the condition is characterized by the build up of fatty deposits in the arteries that restrict the blood flows your options are aneurysm hypertension atherosclerosis arrhythmia the right answer is atherosclerosis atherosclerosis is a condition where fatty deposits that accumulates in the arteries leading to reduced blood flow to the heart chamber of the heart has the thickest muscular wall the options are left atrium right atrium left ventricle right ventricle and the correct answer left ventricle the left ventricle has a thicker muscular wall compared to the other chambers as it pumps blood to the entire body friends now can you tell me what's the score out of 20 please comment in the comment section let's move on to the question number 21 what is the role of hemoglobin in the blood options carrying oxygen fighting infections regulating blood pressure or producing antibodies the right answer carrying oxygen hemoglobin is a protein in red blood cell that binds to oxygen and transport it to the body tissues question number 22 which blood type is known as the universal donor options are a b a b and o answer is o blood type o is considered the universal donor because it lacks a or b antigens reducing the risk of transfusion reactions now question number 23rd what is the term for the period of relaxation of the heart chambers during the cardiac cycle the options are diastole systole conduction or fibrillation and the correct answer is diastole diastole is the relaxation phase of the heart cycle when the heart chambers fill with blood question number 24 which of the following is not a component of the heart's conduction system options are atrioventricular node ab node bundle of his perkins fibers or thymus gland the right answer thymus gland the thymus gland is not a part of the heart conduction system it is an organ of the immune system question number 25th what is the term for the period of relaxation of the heart chambers during the cardiac cycle options are diastole systole conduction fibrillation the right answer is diastole diastole is the relaxation phase of the heart cycle when the heart chambers fill with the blood question number 26 which of the following factors can contribute to the development of heart disease your options are 
high hdl cholesterol low blood sugar regular physical activity or smoking correct answer smoking smoking is a known risk factor for the heart disease as it can damage the blood vessels and increase the risk of atherosclerosis question number 27 what is the purpose of the coronary circulation options pumping blood to the lungs supplying blood to the heart muscle distributing oxygen to the body cells or removing carbon dioxide from the body and the right answer is supplying blood to the heart muscle the coronary circulation provides blood to the heart muscles ensuring its oxygenation and nourishment question number 28 which of the following statements about blood flow in the heart is correct options are blood flows from the left atrium to the right ventricle blood flows from the right atrium to the left ventricle blood flows from the left ventricle to the aorta or blood flows from the right ventricle to the pulmonary veins and the correct answer blood flows from the left ventricle to the aorta the after leaving the left ventricle blood flows into the aorta for distribution to the rest of the body question number 29 what is the term for the smallest blood vessels where gas exchange occurs between blood and tissues options are arteries veins capillaries or venous and the correct answer capillaries capillaries are the smallest blood vessels where oxygen and nutrition diffuse into tissues and waste products enter the blood stream now question number 30 and out of 30 what is your score let's see that and then continue the video again what is the term for the network of blood vessels that supply the heart muscle with oxygen and nutrition your options are pulmonary circulation systemic circulation coronary circulation or lymphatic circulation the answer is coronary circulation coronary circulation is the network of blood vessels that supply the heart muscle with oxygen and nutrition now can you tell me what's the score out of 30 please comment in the comment section so friends the remaining questions that you will see in the second part of this video if this video helped you then please support us by liking subscribing and sharing our channel Thank you for your valuable time. See you with the next video. Take care.